Good morning and welcome to HM Stocks. Today we are going to discuss about Bollinger Bands. It's one of a technical indicators which most of the traders use and it's also very important and you can easily analyze the graph and it's a very simple one if you concentrate for minimum of 5 minutes. It's very, sim- very simple, very easy to understand. So what is a Bollinger Band? A Bollinger Band is a technical analysis tool defined by a set of lines plotted two standard deviation positive and negative away from a simple moving average that means that there'll be a simple moving average there'll be a positive and negative line of a securities price but can be adjusted to user's preference you can adjust it to according to your level okay the bollinger bands were developed and copyrighted by famous technical trader john bollinger high prices are represented by the upper band and the low prices by the lower band the middle band acts as a simple moving average between the two other bands so you may be thinking what is upper band what is the lower band what is the middle band so i'll just explain you uh, so this is the graph this is the graph it will be like this uh, so this is the lower band and this is the upper band and this is the middle band this is also called a simple moving average this blue line which you can see here this is the simple moving average line this is the positive one this is the negative band okay that is about bollinger band how to analyze it how to trade it i'll just explain you through live uh, in few more minutes so, so what is a bollinger band so the it's like uh, the middle band will be always a 20 days simple moving average it'll take the past 20 days opening closing and it will be forming a graph that is like simple moving average as i explained you in moving average okay so next is upper band upper band is equal to 20 days of sma plus 20 days of standard deviation of price into two so next lower band is 20 days sma minus 20 days of standard deviation of price into two so you can see the graph here in this the simple moving average is 20 days this this blue line okay this is a positive plus two this is minus two i'll just explain you to this in graph wise through live one second yeah i'm going to explain this in investing.com this is a website you can all search and you can trade through this you can see the graphs so here you can see i have taken a chart of state bank of india sbi so you can set the days okay i'll keep one day and now we are learning about technical indicator so here you can see next to the settings one indicator slash you have to just click on that and we are learning today about so now i'm going to just type bollinger band bollinger band here it is you have to just click on that you will be getting a graph in this form it is like as same as the one i have been showing in the graph like in the presentation i have showed the graph it was similar to this and i'll explain you in detail here you can see you can change the settings of this just for on click on the format you'll be getting a thing like this like uh, you can change the colors so for median i'll be taking uh, uh, blue color and for the upper band let's take red color and for the lower let's take green color you can set this like whichever color you prefer so that's not a thing okay just click on the okay button so you will be getting a graph formed in such a way so here all you have to do and analyze is that take at this point just consider this point when when the candles cross the blue line it has gone the price of the stock has increased to this point so from here to here you you just only have to know one thing about this whenever the candles cross above the blue line the share price is going to increase whenever the candle is whenever the candles are closing the blue line downwards then the share price will be decreasing that's the main thing you have to be knowing to trade through this so you can see at this point the price of the share was around 308 rupees once the candle has crossed this line see the value where it has reached the highest point this point is around 362 almost 52 points so if you have taken a thousand shares thousand into 52 52 thousand will be a profit if you trade like this analyzing the graph it will be very simple and very easy for you in the same way let's discuss about downwards 
so if you see at this point the candle has crossed the blue line and it has come down so it is at 361 rupees okay so now look at this graph it has completely gone down it has reached to a point like 244 you can see there is so much of difference from here you by just taking one trade from here you can earn more than 50,000 easily easily it's very easy it's very simple you just have to analyze it you just have to trade in such a way that it will be very simple for you so this blue blue line is nothing but 20 days moving average as uh, you can see here it's 20 20 days moving average and this plus two this is the positive one which i have been explained in the graph so this is the negative one i have told you in the slide itself and i have uh, shown you the formulas also so by analyzing this you can see anywhere you can see anywhere in the graph the price will be in the same way one second You can take at any point, any point, you can see at any point the price will be in the same way and most of the traders use this for accurate analyzing and uh, it's mostly used for long term. See you can also see in this point, see the price, the candle has once crossed this point. So as soon as it crossed the price hit 364 from 274 so you can see there's like almost 100 rupees close to 100 rupees gap so like this you have to analyze the trade you have to select each and every person will have each and every person will have different different uh, technical indicators you have to choose the one which you are comfortable and which you can understand in an easy way and also you can take you can keep your perfect stop loss and you can trade uh, what is stop loss i'll explain i'll be explaining you about stop loss in the upcoming videos like uh, i'll be explaining you in detail so that uh, you never uh, lose your money like it's a very safety way to trade keeping stop loss always you have to keep a stop loss when you're trading so this is about uh, Bollinger Bands. Uh, the only thing you have to remember in this is whenever the candle crosses the blue line, you have to always take a buy order. Whenever the candle falls from blue below, you have to always take a sell order. That's how you deal it. That's about Bollinger Bands. Let's go back to the slides. So. So that's it for today. Uh, hope you go, you guys understood uh, the technical indicators of Bollinger Bands. If you have any doubts about Bollinger Bands, you can ask us at any time. We'll be available to solve your queries. So thank you guys.